It's a rough and tumble sport, but one that Sushil Kumar thrives on. The Beijing Olympic bronze medalist has been wrestling since he was 14 and is leading India's push for gold at the upcoming Commonwealth Games. The country is ranked ninth in the world, but with some of the other top nations not eligible for the Commonwealth event, coaches say their athletes have a real chance at a thumping victory. I'm completely focused on the Commonwealth Games because it's happening in my country. Whatever our coaches see as our weakness, our technique, our power, we're trying to improve it. I think we'll have good results in the Commonwealth Games. India's success in wrestling is no surprise, considering its long love affair with the sport. For hundreds of years, traditional akaras or wrestling schools have trained champions, including Sushil Kumar. Boys as young as 12 are put through a grueling exercise regime, beginning at 4 a.m. and ending with bouts in a dirt pit. Here at Guru Hanuman Akara in Delhi, more than 120 boys train daily in pursuit of their dream of being the ultimate pehelvan, or strongman. Most of them come from impoverished villages, where the sport is hugely popular. They get to have a career and a job. They make a name for themselves, and when you wrestle in competitions, you also get money. These days, when you come back with a medal from overseas, like from the Olympic Games, even the government gives you money. Shivam Chowdhury admits he never tires of rolling around in the dirt. It's all part of the 15-year-old's exhaustive training to be an Olympic champion. Far from his rural home, Shivam has been living and learning at the Akara for eight months. He follows a strict vegetarian diet and spends most of his day learning the intricate techniques of wrestling. I just have one goal, and that's to bring back an Olympic medal. I want to make a name for my coach, my country, my village, and my mother and father. Sushil Kumar knows that feeling only too well. Having survived the tough arena of Indian wrestling with an Olympic medal under his belt, he now has his sights set on winning gold on home soil.